guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Jack, I'm the Managing Director here at CQ Servers and today I'm just going to be showing you guys a little bit about how to install 5M on your VPS hosted by CQ Servers. Now, obviously the kind of tutorial I'm about to show you is going to really allow you to, to do this for not only this VPS but also if you were with another provider. However, we really wouldn't recommend using this on another provider because it'll mess with things that you know the VPS will not be expecting. Um, a couple of points before we do this. If you run this command in your home machine, it may not work as it's going to be disabling the entire firewall of your Windows machine. So I would definitely not recommend it. Um, and yeah, other than that, uh, let's get started. So first things first, what we're going to do, we're going to go down here. We're going to type in Windows PowerShell, but we find it right here. We are then going to type in here um, the command which I'll put in the comments or in the description. We're just going to copy and paste that in there. Just give it a second. Now, as you'll see, it's CDE desktop and it's just going to run our install script from our website. We're just going to press the enter button. And as you'll see, it's going to start doing it. Your firewall's just been disabled and it's going to start installing the scripts. Now, again, I wouldn't recommend do doing this on your home machine as, you know, unless you want your firewall to be taken down. But again, on a VPS, that's kind of okay. Um, so we're just going to run through this. Now, it can take quite a while because it's, it's not only doing... Um, it's doing quite a number of things. So what this is doing is it's installing the 5M base game files. Um, it's setting up your firewall to accept the open ports for 3120 and all that. Um, it's also enabling um, this thing you can see in the desktops an install script. It's also getting uh, Google Chrome installed, um, disabling advanced internet explorer security. And it's also enabling a new, um, setting up your new default browsers, Chrome, um, just because it's obviously a lot easier. Now, when we're as we're installing this now, um, it's nice and quick and easy. I'll leave this all in the description for you. Um, it just means you can just copy and paste it into your machine. Um, this is pretty much what we do when we're doing 5M. When you tick the 5M setup box, when you purchase a new VPS with us, again, very quick, very easy. We don't try and overcomplicate it um, because it's it's nice and simple. Um, and one of our team have all have made this script just to kind of uh, make it a little bit more user friendly. So. This will run through. Um, what I'll do, I'll let it run all the way through um, and then I'll jump back in and show you what it does at the end. Hello guys, welcome back. So what we're going to show you now is, as you'll see, this script has run. It's installed all the necessities. One of the things I forgot to kind of include before was it installed something called ZAMP. Now, what that'll allow you to do is, first of all, uh, run your FTP. So if you want to give other users access to this or access to control the files, you can do that through FTP. Um, again, all we're going to have to do to do that, um, well, first of all, you know, if we look here, it says delete myself, thank you and goodbye. We'll just close this. We've got the 5M folder here with our server and that's all installed. Um, obviously, um, you just have to do the normal kind of 5M startup process to get it all up and running. We've then got, uh, in order to enable what I kind of said before, we'll go to XAMPP control panel. We're then going to, if not already, um, you would press this here, press install for both MySQL and FileZilla. If you need MySQL, then yes, you'll need to do that. If you don't need MySQL, then we'll, we'll just, just do FileZilla. Um, you can then start it. If you want to create users, you'll go to admin. It'll load this box right here, which is the FileZilla server. We'll go to Edit, Users. We can then set up a user in here. So we can press Add, type in their name. So it'll be... Tutorial. Okay. We can then go to Shared Folders. We'll press Add. Give them access to any specific files we want. So if we want them just to have access to the 5M folder, we can do that. And then we can edit their permissions up here. We can then press OK. And the account has now been set up um, right there. Now, as you'll see, this will always run in the background. So even if I close this right here, it'll always run. Um, you'll just see it's all running down here. 
Um, and again, yeah. other than that, you'll follow your normal process for getting your 5M server set up the same way you would if you were home hosting, but we've installed all the files for you um, and, and that's pretty much it. 5M is ready to go. All right. Well, other than that, guys, if there's any further questions, don't be afraid to um, pop a question down in the comments or join our Discord server, which will all be listed in the description. I'll leave the command you'll need to run in the description as well. Um, and as I've said, just get in touch with us through our live chat, right, our ticket system on our website. Um, and obviously, go to CQ servers for the best VPSs hosted on high-end Ryzen CPUs, as well as all the best i9-10900K CPUs with 10 gigabyte up and down. Um, and also, you know, DDR4 RAM, just for the best hardware, um, meaning the best performance. All right, well, thank you very much, guys. Have a wonderful day.